It's not like you know me all that long But lately you tie me down Begging me please You can't stand to be alone You try to move in all your things this is a crowded house. A 10 knot northerly breeze greets the fleet. This is the start of race number one in the championship. And we're off. They round the mark, one, two, and in third place, it's Terry Hutchinson, Team Quantum and Team Gill. No surprise to see them at the top either. Crowded here at the top mark. Already we've seen some red flags flying and some circle spinning here at the first mark rounding. Downwind, it's a big left hand shift. Everybody is still on starboard tack. Brasini's leading the group. The front runners are just behind him. Former world champion is Franco Rossini, number 62, and it shows his Blue Moon crew rounding the leeward gates here, still in the lead as Hutchinson splits for the other gate. And it looks lonely over there. More boats taking this left-hand side. Kristen Lane rounds in second place. Still a fantastic race for her. With local star Chris Larson just behind. Well, the move paid off at the leeward mark for Terry Hutchinson, and with that, he is now in the lead. The Italians have definitely defined themselves as some of the best Melgus 24 sailors in the world, but right now it's Terry Hutchinson with local star Scott Nixon, who are in a commanding lead. Hutchinson shifts into defensive mode now as he's extended his lead, rounding the bottom mark for the last time. Rossini in second at the bottom of the mark. Race committee has moved the course yet again in the shifting breezes. The northerly breeze continues to tick to the left. Heading left is local star Henry Filter. He knows these waters as good as anyone. Also protecting the left-hand side, it's Team Quantum and Gill, Terry Hutchinson and crew, headed for the finish. This is the team that won the North Americans here last year, and with that, they take race number one as well. After a short delay, we are underway with the start of race number two. Very even line, the fleet spread all the way across the course. The starting line, rather. Five seconds to go. A few boats here at the pin end are not going to make it, including 42. That's Neely Williamson having to bail out. Again, a lot of the fleet favors this left-hand side. In the lead, it is number 53, Bill Hardesty, who is a two-time Melgus 24 world champion as a tactician. He's clearly doing well as a helmsman today. Carlo Fracasoli does half of attack, shoots up, makes it around the windward mark, clean above these other boats. He'll take second place. With number 55, Chris Larson in third. With the left-hand shift having most boats on port on the upwind leg, it's no surprise to see the majority of the fleet on starboard downwind. Number 13, Carlo Fracasoli from Italy is giving Bill Hardesty a run for his money on the run. We're just close to the port tack ley line and Hardesty's being forced beyond it. He'll jibe pretty soon for clear air. Fracasoli's move pays off quite well. Bill Hardesty now is in second place fighting with Chris Larson just to stay there. 
All of them taking this left hand gate heading back upwind. The fleet untangles itself and heads back upwind in a persistently large left hand shift which leaves the two leaders to fight it out amongst themselves. With a 12th place finish in last year's Worlds, Carlo Fracasoli will be quite happy with his position now, first place as he rounds the top mark for the last time. Moving into second is Chris Larson, a former Malgus 24 national champion. Round number 53, Bill Hardesty has dropped back into a solid third. After two course changes, the breeze has settled in now. It's enough for the fleet to spread all the way across the race course, and this is the final downwind run to the finish. Carlo Fracasoli and crew are happy that this race is finally over. They were unstoppable, and they'll take victory. Second place is Chris Larson. He has had a fantastic day.